to PJ Butland. How are we doing, Charleston? Look at you all here tonight. Look at me. I'm the third comedian all grown up. Milk does a body good. Five foot five fucker, keep drinking it. Where are my Aztecs in the crowd? Aztecs? Good, maybe they're home finishing their fucking calendar. <laughs> I am so tired of these crazy people who think the world's gonna end next year because the calendar maker in ancient Aztecia got fucking bored. <laughs> Are these the same people who get their TV guide and go, fuck, I gotta buy a radio. <laughs> You'll get it going home, people. It ends, fuck. <laughs> Love being in Charleston, just moved down here recently. I came down to date black girls. <laughs> love the black women, I do. Love them. I'm dating a black girl right now. She is black. She is so black, she is blue. When we, when we make love at night, it looks like I'm air fucking, okay? Oh, okay. I live in Charleston, the most racist city in America, and you guys aren't going to laugh at that. <laughs> For like six weeks, she told me she loved me. She got, she said, she goes, PJ, I got your name tattooed on my arm. Black ink on a Kenyan. Uh huh. That shit's harder to read than Shakespeare. Love it. On the way over here, past McDonald's, said McRib is back. Oh. I love McRib. I'm the one person in America they make the McRib sandwich for. I love the McRib. I eat the shit out of a McRib sandwich. In fact, I think I've eaten more fake pork than Kermit. You guys are the slowest crowd I have ever worked for. Wear your helmets. I'll talk slower. Holy shit. I come out, I'm a big guy, I, I, I pace, I yell, I do offensive shit, that's who I am. I'm a big guy, and it's cool being a big guy, but there's one thing that sucks about being a big guy, I'm going to tell you what it is. Being a big guy, you cannot go to the bar when you're a big guy. You can't do it, you're a big fucker, you know what I'm talking about. Because <laughs> there's always that one little sawed off front with his friends, wants to prove to his friends how tough he is by taking a shot at the title. You know the jackass I'm talking about, the guy that runs up to you, whacks in the thigh, runs away, that fucker. I recently got in a fight in North Charleston. Oh. Holy shit. That's like a little slice of Nazi Germany right in your own backyard. Those cops need better shit to do. Two people got in a fight in North Charleston. Me and this other guy sudden things the old-fashioned way, the way God intended with our fists. No guns, no knives, just bare-knuckle brawling, beating the hell out of each other, having a good old time. Guys, what do guys do for each other at the end of a fight after they beat the hell out of each other tonight? What do they do for each other? Buy them a beer. Buy them a beer. There's my man right there. They buy each other beer, they drink it, boom, friends for life. That's how men settle shit. Ladies, pay attention, because you take shit to the fucking grave. <laughs> Next time you see a girl that you're pissed off, punch her in the fucking head by her beer. Christmas will be normal again. <laughs> Someone in North Charleston didn't want to see the beer ship friendship part of the fight. Called the North Charleston Police Department. To this fight between two people, the North Charleston Police Department sent four cop cars, two ambulances, and a fire engine. A fire engine to a fight. I've been in a few fights in my day, I have. I've actually hit a person or two. But never in my life have I hit someone so hard that they burst into fucking flames. <laughs> so there was no need for a fire engine. What they should have sent was a sewage truck because I beat the shit out of that guy. Thank you guys, that's it for me tonight. <laughs>